Hello everyone, it's the Grumpy Gamer, and uh, this is part three of my tutorial series on Dungeon Defenders. Now I want to show you here is the tavern. Every player has a tavern. And so basically what you do is you do everything in the game from here. You're either playing a game, fighting, killing monsters, or you'll be here. Um, first things first, you'll see trophies all over the place. There's some trophies right there. Down here, they're everywhere. They're, I mean, this place is covered with trophies. What those are for, they're just cosmetic. They are achievements. If you unlock a Steam achievement, um, a trophy fort will pop up in here. And they're all in the top row, the windows, hills, everywhere. There's like 80 something of them right now. Okay, next thing I want to show you is the is the dummies. These are for looking at your DPS. So if I attack this guy right here, I'm just holding down my mouse button. It's going to tell me how much DPS I'm doing per second. Per second. I'm doing about 39k damage per second. There's there's a dummy right there, and then there's a dummy over here. They're different. This dummy right here, your pet won't attack it. That's that's in case you want to see what your actual DPS is, because this pet will attack this one over here. We get close. There he goes. So it's kind of hard for me to measure my DPS when the pet's sitting it too. So that's why they got two of them. You measure your ears over here, and you measure your pets over here. And you can also attack this one too, and and see what the DPS of you and your pet combined are. Okay, this is the mana forge right here. Here we can look at our stats. You can see our stats right there. We can also look at our items. Um, on this screen, we can also upgrade our items. Like um, if item hadn't been upgraded all the way, you could put more points in it. The way you do that is hit invest all and it'll take all your mana you have and invest it um, into the item. Now you can see right here at the top it tells you how much mana I have. I only have 4 million right now. And to level this up I have 9 million. So if I actually click this, the gauge will only go up part way. But if it had gone over all the way, then I'd be able to spend a point up here. There is a little quicker way to do it. You can hit pro mode and then if you have the mana you can just click the button over and over and over and you can upgrade faster that way um, the reason they have that automatically turned off the way because you can just like burn through like two or three hundred million mana in like five or ten seconds if you're not careful because you can see this thing right I got some items that are like 10 or 20 million go 10 or 20 million mana to upgrade them so every time you click it you're just like burning through money but anyway that's the uh, hero info screen next we have the item box now what this is your inventory basically um, you also have folders. Um, you have you can select between tabs here. We can look at all your different items. Now up here, if you want to create a folder, what you do is you click the plus button. Then you'll name it. I'll just name A. -A. Okay. Oh, I didn't like that. Too 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 few letters. Okay, there we go. So now I could put I could drag. It's just like Windows. I can drag and drop something in there or whatever. I can click here to rename it, or I can click there to delete it. You also got all kinds of buttons here, like uh, I can do sell all. It'll sell everything that's not locked. If you click an item, you have an option to lock it and unlock it. You can also sell it. Let me show you how to sell something. I should have something here good to sell. Yeah, we saw that. It doesn't look that good. So I can drop it, lock it, give it to my hero for him to put it on. I can look at the item's information and move it to the shop. Sell it to the bank. If you click sell all, it'll sell everything that's not locked. But I'm going to go ahead and sell that. There we go. And then at the bottom, here we just swap our heroes. We first started, well obviously you're only going to have one character, but later on if you get hooked on the game, you'll have multiple characters. They serve different roles. Next we have the tavern shop. Is this guy right here. Here uh -oh. you can buy pets, weapons, armor. Honestly, it's not that good. You can see it's really expensive. Well, that seems really expensive when you're starting off. It's not at higher levels, but that's the plus side. The, the minus side is most of the stuff's overpriced for what it is, and it's just, honestly, it's crap. So I haven't bought anything here in forever. When you're first starting the game, you might get something useful out of there occasionally, but at higher levels, you won't ever buy too much from there. But if you do see something there to buy, like I say, it'll be outrageously expensive. So next thing we got services. Okay, now these are all grayed out because they don't have the mana. This one here says XP bonus. If I click that, what it'll do is give me bonus XP the next battle I fight. 
So that's pretty handy. Next you have Respec Hero. If you screwed up your character, you don't like the way you spend all your points for your stats, you can respec them here. There's a, this here's a tip for you too. You can also use it um, like, let's say you get this really badass piece of gear. You, it, all the stats are great except one of them is just total crap. Like let's say it lowers your movement speed. That one piece of gear, I mean it, it increases damage, health, everything, but it lowers your movement speed to where you're moving like this. What you can go do is respect your hero and raise up that one stat. So that's actually pretty handy. I do that. Okay, next we got re rename hero. That's that's uh, self-explanatory. Just rename your hero for 50,000 mana. Last thing is generate mana token. Now what that's for is you can only have so much money. You can only have 16 or 600 million mana. And some of these items are worth two or three B in mana. So. <laughs> If you can only carry 600 million mana, you might be wondering, well, how do you get more mana than that? What you do is you come over here hey, and uh, you click generate mana token and you click in whatever amount you want to make the token for. And it creates a token worth that much. So you can turn around and give that token to somebody else or you can sell it back to a vendor and he'll give you the money back. I can take down any time. So now what's that's useful okay. for? The mana tokens, it's, it's for trading, basically. People will trade mana tokens, like, let's say they have an item worth, uh, they want a billion mana for it. We can only have 600 million, so what they'll do is they'll create a mana, uh, mana token for like 500 million or 600, or let's say 600 million. And um, when they do the trade, they'll give the guy the mana token in 400 million. So it's just a way to increase the, it's just a way to do trades when something's really expensive. Now, last but not least, we have a, a place called the Secret Room. It's up in there. You see that blinking sign says open. Let me show it to you. It's, it's up here. I'm not going to show it to you. It's like an Easter egg. It's more or less a spoiler. I'm just going to tell you how to get into it. Um, if you finish the game, let me show you that. If you finish the game, oh, let me... Here's the campaign. So at the campaign, we got Deeper Well, blah, 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 all these, the throne room. We go down. The last level of the regular game is called the Summit. All these right here, this one's the bonus level, and these two down here are DLC. This is the official end of the game right here. Once you finish that level, the secret room unlocks. And you can go in there, and you can set the background music for the tavern. Uh, it's pretty cool up in there. I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to show it to you, but... Um, it's a spoiler, so but anyway, that's how you get into there. Last thing uh, is this right here. This is your crystal. You can just use this to set up miss missions, but honestly, it's this is more or less cosmetic because you can just you can come over here, hit the escape key, and do the same thing. You got missions set up right here, so it's really not necessary. But I guess it's just um, cosmetic something to look at. One more thing to point out, there is a cap on how much you could put inside of your um, inventory. It's actually 220 items. <clears throat> if you have any more items than that, what you have to do is you can drop them on the tavern floor. And then uh, there's an option to lock the tavern. Let me see. Um, might be under options. Yeah. Lock tavern item pickups. So you turn that on, and nobody, you can drop stuff on the floor, and nobody will be able to pick it up. So it basically, it gives you extra inventory space. But there is a limit on how much you can drop on the floor, too, I think. I don't know. As you can see, I don't have that problem. It's only for people who like just play this game religiously and they've got a ton of crap. They can drop it on the floor. Speaking of options, there was one more thing here. We got lock tavern defenses. Now, what that's good for. Sometimes people will come into your tavern and they'll just like place a turret like that and just go around and place turrets. And if it's getting on your nerves, you can just uh, lock tavern defenses. Then they won't be able to create or destroy anything. Now let me see if there's anything else I'm forgetting. Yes, I am. I am forgetting um, the AFK shop. So let me show you how that works. 
Here we have Hero Shop with Grumpy here. Gamer. Every every player has their own shop. Here's mine. By the way, these three tabs here, this is just the forge. So it's the same thing as the jukebox looking thing over there. But here's the Hero Shop. Everybody's got one. This stuff I've got for sale. If you see the price is zero, it means I put it in the shop, but I haven't priced it yet. Uh, the computer won't let anybody buy it. They'll be able to see it, but they won't be able to buy it. And then you can create folders in here too. So I got a folder for pets. If somebody wants to browse my pets, they can click that. Um, I sell lightsabers. And then uh, I got different categories. You can categorize it however you want. But but let's say I'm about to go to sleep and I just want to leave this going so I can sell some stuff and make some money. All I got to do is, is hit enable AFK shop. I hit that and, and now people could come in here and buy stuff. But generally that's not a good idea to do it this way where you just come in and, and enable the AFK shop that way. Let me show you how you want to do it. You want to exit to the main menu. Um, well as long as you're at the main menu I'm going to show you how to browse it too. Okay if you look at the top we hit show shops. And this is all the shops. This is people selling stuff. So we can click that and join the game and we'll be in their shop. And we can click there again to go back to the games. But um, anyway, what we want to do if we want to host the game, this is the proper way to do it. The reason I like to do it this way over the other way, I like to host it here instead of enabling it at the tavern shop because then we get the option to name it. So I could put a name right there. And what you want to put is a, a put something that's going to attract people. Let them know what you sell, like whether it's Myth Gear, Trans Gear, Supreme, or whatever. And say something that's going to... What I like to see is if they say two times vendor, it means they're not going to try to rape you. Some of these people, you go in there and everything in there is like 600 million mana. And, it's, and it won't even be... It'll be like crap that drops for a level 30 player. And you're like, what the hell? And then you're just wasted five minutes of your time. So... Um, if you can see there's all these shops try to think of a good name for your shop that's actually going to draw people into your, into your shop so basically that's it that's our tutorial on uh, the tavern shop I hope you enjoyed this video if you found it helpful let me know like the video whatever we'll see you next time it's Grumpy Gamer